Alright, I'm up here in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, and how long have you been living up here in this town? In Saskatoon, yeah. I've been here for about 10 years. 10 years, okay. And you say you've lived in every... Every province and territory. Okay, well, even uh, Newfoundland? Yep. Oh, wow, that's impressive. What about Northwest Territories? My dad's a geologist, so we've always been mining camps. So. Oh, okay. Even Nunavut? Even in Nunavut, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's pretty good. So, what was your question you had? I'm just kind of curious if I... <laughs> uh, just because of what you see on TV, you see that crime is really bad in the States. So, I'm just curious if that's actually true or if it's kind of fiction because I know news likes to just publicize fake well yeah. not fake stuff but they the worst stuff they can find right well it's I think it's true only in the big cities though only in the big cities yeah like Chicago and some parts of New York like crime here is pretty slim to nil is it really yeah oh so it's pretty safe here yeah oh, that's good what would you say is your most dangerous city dangerous city have to be between Vancouver or Toronto. Oh, okay. Probably Toronto, huh? Well, depends on your outlook. Crime rate is a little higher up in Toronto, but you also got all your junkies and stuff over in Vancouver. All so. right, yeah. What's the furthest north you've been? Furthest north, I've been 50 miles from the North Pole. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. You don't go to the South Pole though, yeah? Did your dad go down that way or not really? Uh, my dad's been all over the world, so... Oh really? But you didn't join him on the Antarctic trip? No. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty good. So you were... When you went to the North Pole, it was on a uh, boat? A uh, plane, actually. On a plane? Oh, wow. flew in on a bush plane and had helicopters and skidoos out there, mm, so... That's pretty good. Alright, well that sounds interesting. You have an interesting life. <laughs> and now you're working at the hotel. Yeah, <laughs> something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. okay. So one in the billion chance to see what kind of whale? A narwhal whale. Oh, well, with two horns. With two horns. Normally they have one horn? Yeah, one horn. Huh, where'd you see this at? Up in Nunavut. Huh, near uh, Iqaluit? Uh, or further north? To be honest, they wouldn't tell me what towns it was around. Oh, okay. Because, because it was a mine, they had to keep the... Oh, it's like kind of secret. Is it a gold mine or what kind? Yeah, it was a gold mine. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I'll have to check this out online. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> it, it was really neat to see in person. Huh. Yeah, I bet. Now I'm in Saskatoon. I'm gonna go see and meet actually this uh, raw food girl. She lives here up in Saskatoon. Her name is Danielle, so I'm gonna meet her in a few minutes. I just passed him by and I saw this ice skating park. Looks like a pretty good place to come, which I'll probably do next time if I'm here. It's a good view of Saskatoon. Clint, I don't hey, hey how's it going? Good. Good? What's your name? Danielle. Danielle, so where are you from? I'm from Saskatoon. So you're, Saskatoon. Okay, you were born here? Yes. Alright. Where did you move after Saskatoon? I moved to Vancouver. Vancouver? Yes. Yeah. How do you like the wet weather? <laughs> the weather was... <laughs> way better than it is. It is? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. But you have nice summers here, no? We do have very nice summers. Yeah. Oh, okay. What do you do here now? I go to school. Go to school? What's yeah. the name of the school? Uh, the University of Saskatchewan. Okay. How many people go there? Students? A lot. Yeah. A lot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So the interesting thing about you that I noticed is what kind of diet do you follow? I follow a mainly raw food Diet. Oh, that's pretty good. How long have you done it? Uh, for almost two years. Two years, oh well. And what made you do it? Uh, honestly, I just really wanted to be healthier. Mm. So I did it. Good. And you feel healthier? I do feel oh, healthier. Yeah? I feel amazing. Okay. <laughs> what, what country did you go to that you first got the idea? Uh, I went to Panama. Uh, Panama? Yes. You ate a lot of fruit there? I did eat a lot of fruit. Oh. And I also ate other octopus type things. <laughs> Yeah. So you had to do like the last minute eating of meats and yeah, seafood. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, okay. The final bird. <laughs> What's your goal then with this idea? I want to have a health retreat center. Hopefully somewhere way more warm than Saskatoon. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like, what's your two ideas? Uh, Thailand or Costa Rica. And have you been to either? No. No? <laughs> wow, so you'll have to visit them first. I will. To yeah. get an idea. I'll have to do some research. Yeah, I think Costa Rica, well, it depends on your clientele. Yeah, yeah. exactly. 
Costa Rica, more Americans, Canadians, Thailand, maybe more Australians. Yeah. yeah. Rich Asians. Rich Asians. <laughs> See how high So we'll have to follow up on the story. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Oh, this is a really cool walk we're doing. It's really cold. <laughs> What's the name of this bridge behind us? It's the Broadway Bridge. Okay, you got five bridges, you say? Yes, we have, uh, I guess, three that you can drive on, one that is in the process of being torn down, and another one that is called the train bridge. Oh, really? So they're, uh, how come they're torn it down? It's falling apart and it's been deemed unsafe to drive on, I think. Mm, okay. Point the camera that way, you can see that <laughs> yeah. making sure no one can go on it. <laughs> this is the train bridge, but well, this is historical, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can't tear down this one. All right. Still got Christmas lights around here. <laughs> so, good yoga. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so, you know how to get there, right? I think so. All right. Keep going straight and turn right somewhere.